Hi guys, welcome to Vedant Education Academy where we solve engineering, math and physics problems. So today I have picked up another uh, fun uh, uh, problem for you. So this I picked from GATE uh, 2017 Electronics and Communication paper. So the question reads here, the permittivity of water at optical frequencies is 1.75 epsilon naught. It is found that an isotropic light source at a distance d under water forms an illuminated circle with an area of radius phi meter. The critical angle is theta c. The value of d is. Okay, this is a nice problem. So let me draw a small schematic. So what we have is a water surface here. So let me draw a water surface and we have a isotropic light source at a, dist at a depth d. Now this light source forms a circular area uh, on the uh, illuminated area on the surface of the water uh, with a radius of 5 meters. So if this is the circular area illuminated area which is formed on the surface of the water which is this one the radius of this is 5 meters. As you can see, the first thing to recognize this while solving this problem is to see that this question is about total internal reflection. So what is total internal reflection? So let me go step by step. So the first thing is to recognize, to recognize this question is about total internal reflection. So what is total internal reflection? It's a phenomena where, so if you have two mediums, which is one and two, with the refractive index N1 and N2, and N1 where N1 is greater than N2, that means the refractive index uh, of this medium is higher than the refractive index of this medium. So the light which is traveling from this denser medium to a rarer medium. So let's say this is the light which is traveling. At certain angles, what will happen is the light which is traveling from here will graze the surface of the water. So that which is called as the uh, critical angle. So. So at critical angles, the light traveling from a denser medium to a rarer medium is going to undergo total internal reflection, which is that, that it's going to exactly graze the surface of this uh, medium. And that is called total internal reflection. And the angle at which this happens is called the critical angle. So we can see that this is what's happening here in this problem, that the light coming from this source at an angle is grazing the sur surface of the water and that uh, that angle is called the critical angle which is given here which is theta c and we have to find at what depth this uh, source is kept so that if the radius formed on the surface of the water is 5 meters. So uh, there is a very uh, very famous uh, formula uh, which is used in uh, such uh, uh, light uh, uh, light uh, travel conditions, what is called as uh, uh, the, which I'm writing it here now, which is N1 sine theta i is equal to N2 sine theta 2. So this formula gives at what angle, if the light is incident on this, uh, in this uh, medium, is going to reflect it at what angle on the other side. So, uh, so if you use this uh, this formula here, so if this is the Nw is the refractive index of water and N air is the refractive index of this uh, air here. So we can uh, apply the same formula here. So let's say that this uh, ray is going and touching the surface of the water. Let's draw a normal. And if this is theta i and this is theta r. So we can write Nw sine theta i, which is the incident angle, is equal to Na sine theta r. 
for critical angle theta r is 90. So, we can write n w sin theta i equal to n a this is just 1. Okay, now, uh, what is the refractive index which is given in the question? So, refractive index is the square root of uh, permittivity uh, of the medium. So, what we have here is which is given here is 1.75 epsilon. So, uh, we, we can do that in, insert that here it is 1.75 epsilon sin theta i is equal to uh, n a which is just epsilon naught. So, once you just calculate uh, what this is in your uh, calculator, so I got theta i equal to, so I am just doing this calculation, 49.10 degrees. So, this is 49.1 degree. So, so if you see here, so we, knew, we know what is theta i and we know what is this uh, uh, this distance here which is 5 meter so we have to find this distance so just do a tangent uh, tangent calculation that is sine of tan theta i is equal to 5 meter which is this one divided by d which is this one here and if you solve this you will get d equal to 4.33 meters so that means the light source is at a distance or uh, at a depth of 4.33 meters from the surface of the water and it uh, makes a illuminated, uh, a illuminated circle with the radius of 5 meters. Please subscribe to our channel this we will come up with uh, more uh, problems like this and we will have fun. Thank you.